In February 2010, 21-year-old student Samshid Abdul Rahim abducted his three-month-old daughter, Zara. He placed her in a knapsack, drove to a bridge on the Garden State Parkway in New Jersey, and threw her out of the passenger side window of the car. She drowned in the Raritan River more than 100 feet below. In November 2011, also in New Jersey, Arthur Morgan picked up his two-year-old daughter, Tierra, for a trip to the movies. Later, Tierra was found face down in a frigid stream beneath a park overpass, strapped into a car seat, which had been weighed down with a car jack. It was unclear whether she was thrown from the overpass or carried into the park and placed in the water. The five stages of drowning. One, surprise. There is no drunk like the drunk of milk sleep. Drizzled white floods the body and weighs down everywhere we knew about awake. Zara's fresh clockwork staggers with it when her daddy, grizzled and wild eye, lobs her like a bag of trash over the rusting rail. Inside the sack, the wriggling child does not know the words fly, plummet, or descend. She doesn't realize the quirky question she poses for the pigeons or how, dimmed and stupid with dairy, she is all the fall the sky can language trickling from the breast, does what it does. Babies accept what they are given. They don't question the morning's crage deluge of light, a kitchen's blaring stink, or the hungry hovering faces of fathers. Even after a swollen breeze pries her eyes open in the seconds it takes for the fevered discarding of a daughter, baby doesn't ask the sun, spiraling into the sack to offer coup or direction. Zara Malani Lim Abdul Rahim, little not bird, has been jettisoned, ditched, unloaded. Her snared arms fight and fail to find a suitable rhyme for wing. The river's grim, luminous trash smacks her blunt, but not before her mouth fails its O, oh, not before language breaks its promise to wait for her. If Zara can reach no word for word, no term for the dawning of no, what questions can a pale breath answer? Can this daddy's girl crammed breakneck into a down, 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 down that reeks so wildly of him grieve the dearth of love when she has no sound for love? Two, involuntary breath holding. Imagine filling your body with everything you are and then holding it there. Imagine your body being small, your life consisting of nothing but primary colors and food finger smushed and the stumbling possibilities of dance. Imagine not knowing that whether or not you can contain all of you in tiny ballooned cheeks decides whether or not you will continue. Imagine not knowing the word continue. Wisp of fish nibble warily at those fat cheeks, fall into irreparable love, and decide to make a religion of you. Hallelujah, you are now a religion. You are now a church of silt and slither, while daddy roars glee into noontime traffic, thinking not about you, but about your mother, and screeching, oh, so she got another man now. Oh, oh, really? Oh, fuck that hoe. Bet this gonna fix her bitch ass now. And Tiara, you are the fix for her ass now. You are the fix for your mother's ass now. You are a mute bystander in a gonna be right now reprisal that cannot be retracted. And your slick daddy, now miles away from your plunging, does a slipshod parking job and ambles into a smoky red splash gin mill populated by other men without daughters. Hoisting a fat gold shot, he toasts his one accomplishment, the sweet uncomplicated removal of a complication. Your cheek deflates and the door to your next minute closes. You were alive when the stream first lapped its way round you and the d sound comes easy to the mouth of a baby who wants it. You laughed, daddy, daddy, until even the giddy fish re-examined their worship of you. You chirped, daddy, 
daddy, until daddy, daddy stopped meaning anything and you spat d d into the mud until you couldn't and the fickle fish back in love drew close to kiss the place where your breath had been. Three, hypoxic convulsions. Daddy is the king architect of a baby's roll and rock. He teaches her to manage slink, schools her in the mad politic of the wet engine, makes sure she remembers not to breathe in neon or the honed verbs of street corner. If Zara lives, which she most definitely will not, someone else's daddy will teach her all the one way there is not to get lured into a sack, how to lay quietly in the wrong skirt while muscles bloom, how a well-timed convulsion will usually clear the dance floor. Good dancing, like good drowning, hits the backside like an annoyance that must be Watusi loose, but how does we colored respond to a wet that seeks to rearrange her? Of course. Drums are injected, and Tierra, thrash and snapdragon, shimmies for her giggle back. Baby is the battery that black women build their bodies around until they're saved, old enough to be officially romanced by the latest edition of Jesus. Zara hasn't felt the full hand of the Jesus voice, but she's flirting with that big daddy for all her little worth. Look at her itty bitty jerk and boogaloo, that pop swirl of hips she can't find, that runaway rim shot in an unfinished chest. She's rearing back, opening wide, rearing back, opening wide, back and wide, back and wide. Two struggling maws are filling with river, filling with river, filling with river, filling with river, filling with river. Brackish water picks up the rhythm and controls Zara's arms and ankles. It involves the neck. It says, baby, save the last dance for me. Four, unconsciousness. The river, though. She's sluggish and cagey and a bitch sometimes. She has not yet decided to accept Zara, this annoyance in her mouth. The river is crafted of choke, flopped blossom, and the seduced diver. She is repulsed by the unremarkabilities of skin. Seldom is she in a mood to have her swerve analyzed or interrupted. Prying the sack wide with flow, she prods the puckered contents, is not entertained. Intending to add the ugly pudge to her baubles, she finds that she cannot rouse it, is not entertained. The little brown knot fish thing is so flaccid, so unfun, all snazzed up in its sopping petal pink, the eyes closed and rolling, nappy crown trapping things that need to breathe. The most devoted feeders have already had its go at it. The hide slides, puckers, and burps, and damned if the thing won't offer the river proper due, won't beg for its place in the water's arms, it won't say anything. The river flicks her flat finger at it, then flicks it away. She is so over this drama. The end of anything is only a kick to watch once. Five, clinical death. The final stage in the drowning process is death. Clinical death occurs when both breathing and circulation stop. The victim is in cardiac arrest. The heart stops pumping blood. The vital organs are no longer receiving oxygen-rich blood. The lack of oxygen causes the skin to turn blue. There are 52 shades of blue, or a million and 52, depending on which river you ask. Three, cornflower. 16, cerulean. 21, blunt force. 28, turquoise, 33, navy, 38, fix for her bitch ass now, 41, sky, 47, goodbye, but the way the river says it, bye, all dismissal and shade, 52, goodbye, but the way her daddy says it, over his shoulder, thrilling the done of the deed, already mad at the traffic. Thank you.